hello everyone so we are going to start one java series where i'll be uh, covering all the java basic concepts starting from java fundamentals to the whole java core so here you can see that uh, you uh, that uh, it's a diagram which represents jdk jre and jvm where jdk stands for java development kit jvm stands for java virtual machine and jre stands for java runtime environment let's move to the next slide where we'll get to know about jvm so what is jvm so java virtual machine we call it uh, basically java applications are called write once run anywhere so what does it mean like you can write one java code in your system then you can develop the byte code and you can give to other person so that they can run in their system as well so this is the task that java virtual machine does uh, let's read the slides this means a programmer can develop java code on one system and can expect it to run on any other java enabled system without any adjustment uh, let's move to the second point where jvm is responsible for converting byte code into machine specific code like uh, we'll have one diagram where you will get to see that uh, how many machines and what what basically this line means uh, so let's read it again so jvm is responsible for converting byte code into machine specific code because of which we have different jvm for different operating systems like jvm is different for different operating systems uh, uh, let's move to the diagram where the thing will be clear so this is the java code like dot java file you are writing a program where you are adding two digits so that will be a dot java file then we will compile our program and that dot java file will get converted into a byte code that will be a dot class file then this byte code you can give to any platform like uh, if i am a windows user i will take your byte code and i will ask my jvm to perform the task and i I will be able to access your code or an application since i have the windows my other friend have linux so the same will happen to him there will be no trouble in executing this byte code in another systems so we have windows linux and mac so the jvm will be different for the other systems but you can run the byte code in all the three machines uh, let's move to the third point but all the jvms understand the byte code given to it no matter from which machine the byte code got created like all the jvms that will that you will download for linux windows and mac that will understand the byte code and there will be no difficulty in executing your byte code no matter that your dot java file is written on linux windows or mac i will be able to execute in it on any platform windows mac or linux so let's move to a diagram where it will be a bit more clear we are writing code the java source code then we are compiling it then we will be creating dot class file and then uh, after the code interpretation that will be converted into a machine code uh, so there's one more point about jvm actually three more point so jvm is virtual because it does not exist physically we cannot install jvm as it comes with jre so you cannot install jvm as it comes with jre jvm also provides several paramount features that is memory management garbage collection and security and that is the feature of java as well that you can have this features in java we can allocate maximum and minimum memory for heap residing in jvm right so let's move to jre now so what is jre let's uh, let me show you the diagram again so we have understood about the jvm now we are going to read about the jre so this is basically the building blocks of java fundamentals so let's study about jre jre is java runtime environment it is implementation of jvm it ex physically exists and hence we can install jre so we we are able to install jre it provides the platform to execute run the java programs it consists of jvm and other libraries like rt.jar which are required to execute the java program we can run any java program using jre but we cannot compile the java code using jre 
as it does not contain any compiler, debugger, etc. We can see JR installed in many places like browsers, TV, mobile setup boxes and most of the electronic gadgets. I hope you are able to understand these lines as it is simply written. Uh, one more point about JRE. JRE in these places uses the JVM and executes the bytecode provides in the form of JAR. Okay, now let's move to JDK. So let me show you the diagram again. So we have read about JVM. We have completed JRE. Now we have moved to JDK which consists all the JDK, JRE and JVM and other libraries and compilers and debuggers. So let's study about JDK. So it stands for Java Development Kit and it physically exists and we cannot, we can install it. We can install JDK. It consists JRE plus development tools like compiler, debugger. That was clear from the diagram as well. Since it contains JRE along with compiler, we can write Java code and compile the Java code. Similar to JRE, JDK is also platform specific. We need to use separate JDK for different operating systems. So like uh, in the case of JRE, we, the JDK also is a platform specific. So we will download platform wise like for Linux, Windows and, uh, and Mac, there will be different JREs for different operating systems. All the libraries like Java, Java, etc. exist inside the bin folder of JDK installed path. So when you will visit and when you will install, which we will do in the next uh, coming videos, then we will get to see this Java and Java files which exist under the bin folder. Now let's see the differences between JDK, JRE and JVM. This is the most asked questions uh, in the interview. Uh, like when once you will apply for a job interview and you have given Java as your skill, then this question could come in front of you. So let's see the answer. So JDK is a superset of JRE, which contains the JRE along with compiler. Hence, it, it can be used for development purposes. JRE contains JVM and other runtime libraries required to execute the program. It does not contain other development tools like compiler, debugger, etc. Hence, we can install JRE only to run that Java application, not to develop them. JVM cannot be installed at as it does not have any physical existence. It comes with JRE and JDK installation. It provides platform independence by converting the bytecode operand from any machine into corresponding machine instructions. But it is created only when we execute the Java program. So this is the difference between JDK, JRE and JVM. Let's see the diagram again. So we have completed today JDK, JRE and JVM which is the most common and asked question in any Java interview. And uh, this is the first video of Java Fundamentals. I'll be covering many more videos. So please like, subscribe this channel to, for more Java videos. Thank you.